This is getting started. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're in a 2v2 replay. Uh, me and Abraham, Lunatic and Ulysses. Oh, now they know our names. <laughs> Against a Terran and Zerg on the ladder. So, uh, in this game we're going to do our standard opener in 2v2, which we do whenever we can. Um, there are certain, certain, certain things that will prevent us from doing it and things that we'll scout for, but we're not going to talk about that in this game. In any case, um, on my part, I'm the Zerg. I do an 11 over pool um, into really fast queen and then an 18 second hatch. It can either be a macro hatch or an expansion. Um, this is a build, cur a build courtesy of Team Liquid because they're super great. Yeah. <clears throat> and I just do super simple two racks into as many barracks as I want to make into mass marines. Yeah, so nice and easy. This is a this is a surprisingly more stable than you think. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really lose to very much, and it can it can perform like reasonably well versus sort of everything. <clears throat> um, so the, we just see that the Zerg on the other team decided to 7 pool, which is interesting. Don't see that very often. Yeah. Normally, um, you don't really see pools before 10, 10 yeah. because they're not very good. Um, if you attack a Terran player or a Protoss player, they can just beat it with Worker Micro. And if you attack a Zerg player, usually they've gone for an early pool, uh, or an early enough pool, like a, a 10 pool or an 11 pool. And they'll have a queen out in time such that your zerglings will be completely nullified. Uh, so we see a zerglings making a way to cross the map. Our base, we just got spotted. Gonna come into my base soon. The Terran did about the same opening as me, two racks. He's railing marines across the map. <clears throat> I have one marine out. I thought I had closed this off, but apparently I didn't. So I was sort of freaking out right there. <laughs> but luckily it was fine. <clears throat> so that's kind of the reason that you don't typically do something like a 7 pool. It's really hard to inflict damage, and now this Zerg player is going to be behind me in link production for Forever. like basically the rest of the game. Yeah. But this um, was surprising, the bunker in my base. Yeah, didn't... It's not something we see often. Hadn't, hadn't really seen that before, wasn't, weren't totally sure what to do with it. Yeah. Uh, Just sort of ignored it for a little while. Don't really know if it was done on the fly, or if it was a reaction to his partner 7-pooling. <laughs> but um, it does seem pretty reasonable. Um, lets them make something happen with those early lings, because they wouldn't have been able to get the bunker up otherwise. Um, <clears throat> if we go back to my base, it's we see that we've got a queen... Uh, speed is in production. Lots of wings making. Lots of wings making. Um, and this is just something I'm trying out. One gas is left, or one drone is left on gas to allow for the production of a baneling nest later on. Um, one of the things about my build is that I get 15 drones on minerals, and that allows for more production than two hatcheries and a queen, but less production than two hatcheries and two queens, so you can sort of, if you want to, fit banelings there in the extra, like, mineral cost. Here we go, we're engaging the bunkers. We weren't totally sure if it was going to work out, but it ended up working out quite well, since the Zerg didn't have much left of it. <clears throat> Terran's forced to leave. Now they're just behind because they did very little damage to me like almost none and <clears throat> we get to push out so you see trying to catch these marines and then uh oh he has too many <laughs> run away <clears throat> it's also expanding making more barracks I've got four barracks it's time to go push um, fortunately speed is almost done so, yeah. these other Zerg players getting banelings, which is, which can be good. Bane, like blind banelings can do okay against this build if we don't micro well. <coughs> Obviously, this is different. This is. So here you'll notice just getting speed earlier. It just gives you a huge advantage in Zergling versus Zergling fights. It's basically just like ZVZ. You really want speed fast because you can just out micro the other, the other Zerg player. Yeah. So that was <coughs> kind of bad. Well, not really. Because now. Same number of marines, but also zerglings. Um, so, 
once you've once you've sort of like separated the two players, you can really just go to town on whoever on whoever yeah. is like yeah. more vulnerable. As long as you're careful about watching your reinforcements and not yeah. letting the other guy take out too many of them. Really, uh, one of the primary advantages of the speedlings is that you can just keep them away from each other. You can keep the other two guys away from like reinforcing, and you can cut off vulnerable units like marines and stalkers. Um, if they're caught in the open against speedlings, obviously they do very poorly. So right here we get a surround and got all those marines, and that was very bad. Delicious. <laughs> then banelings. This could have been really bad. I wasn't even watching, but luckily the marines yeah did their job. Yeah, one of the problems with Banelings is that y you can almost have just too many Marines for the Banelings to deal with. Um, even before Stim, it's just like too many shots get off on the Banelings if you don't have a big critical mass of them. Um, well, you can also just lose all your Zerglings to a Baneling if you want. Yeah, so yeah, it's also crucial that you never ever ever fight the Banelings with Zerglings, because one Baneling will ruin your day. Um, this is sort of close, but it ends up being fine. And now we just check the army value. We are way ahead. Yeah. And the game goes on for another eight, eight minutes, but we're not gonna bore you with that because the Terran just sort of turtles in his base and makes us like wait <laughs> for him to leave. Yeah, it's real silly. Okay. Yeah, just quit. <clears throat> Stop recording now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh,